Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Anjit. So here I am going to have a very brief case discussion for postgraduation pathology. If you're a postgraduate student, DNB or an MD pathology or you're a pathologist, this might be useful for you. So here we are going to discuss a very classical case of NAFTP, non-invasive follicular neoplasm of thyroid with papillary-like nuclear features. There are very unique criteria to diagnose it. The first criteria, it has to be non-invasive and it has to be encapsulated, right? If you look at the slide, it's a digital slide from the digital archives of pathology. So if you look at this, let's say that I'm having a perfectly normal encapsulated structure. This is a very low power image with almost nil invasion. This, all the things which you're seeing on the sides are normal thyroid, neopla, normal thyroid gland. It's not an invasive uh, structure, fine? That's the first thing. It should be an encapsulated lesion. It should not have invasion. The second and the most important criteria is, it's actually a follicular thyroid neoplasm. So more than 90% of them should be of micro follicles. I might have insular pattern, I might have a solid growth pattern, it should not be more than 30%, might have. Papillary architecture should be less than 1% of the entire neoplasm, right? So if you look at this, let me, uh, let's give me a second, let me zoom through and see throughout the gland, right? Let's zoom through this area. If you zoom through this area, what you're primarily seeing is nothing but follicular architecture, right? Let's zoom it further, let's zoom it further. These are nothing but repeated to micro follicles, right? You can see them, tiny, 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 tiny follicles. You might see gummy colloid, sticky colloid, that's a minor criteria, but the most, most important criteria here is the repetitive to micro follicles. Almost the entire neoplasm, if you can see, the entire neoplasm here is made of repetitive to micro follicles. You won't see any amount of papillary architecture at any point of the place. And the most important thing, you should not see some of my bodies. So in ultimately, I'm trying to say, it's not a papillary thyroid ca carcinoma, it's a follicular neoplasm, but with papillary-like nuclear features. That's what NAFTP stands for, fine? Okay, now let's go to the nuclear features. If you zoom in further, the nuclear features here might have the crowding, might have the pseudo-inclusions, might have the classical orphan honey eye nuclei also, right? The nuclear features here are suggestive of a papillary tum tumor. No papillae, less than 1%, no some more bodies, but completely repeated to micro follicles. That's what NAFTP stands for. Comment on the next case you want to discuss below, and I'm sure we'll learn pathology and medicine together in the most wonderful uh, way. And there is a link for the uh, download of the app for postgraduate students of pathology. Use them and uh, I hope the lectures will be helpful for you. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjan. Bye-bye.